Hey, thank you so much for being here for this webinar, Walmart Business Plus and Spark Good Tools for Nonprofits. My name is Aretha Simons. I'm the webinar producer here and I get to see your faces. So when I say see your faces, I see your names and I feel your energy. So that's your faces to me. I'm going to show you how you can engage for those who are new here. I know we have a lot of returning friends, but this is going to be a little different. You know, you're going to put your questions in the Q&A, but I know you, you're going to put them in the chat. We have lots of team members here from Zoom, excuse me, not Zoom, Walmart and TechSoup. Zoom was in auto replay in my mind from TechSoup and Walmart here to answer your questions. And I know many of you here and you heard about the $25 gift card that we're going to give from Walmart. We have a suggestion for you. At the end, please fill out the webinar form at the end. Um, we said we're gonna do the first 1,000, so make sure you click on that button really fast. To be eligible for the $25 gift card, you have to follow the instructions. So we'd like for you to fill out the survey and the instructions on that form. Check your email, you're gonna get the video replay within 48 hours. So we're gonna have the resource links for you on that video replay. If you need the closed caption, go ahead and tap on the CC button at the bottom of your screen. I'm gonna move out of the way because I know you're not here for me. You're here for our speakers. I'm gonna get ready to turn this over to Shruti Ramaswamy. She's the Executive Vice President of Strategic Relationships here at TechSoup. And then she's gonna introduce our speaker for the day, who is Liz Willett. She is the head of nonprofits who's been with Walmart for over seven years. So I'm excited that you are both here today. Um, Shruti, go ahead and take it away. Perfect. Thank you so much, Aretha. And thank you everybody for joining us today. We're so excited to have you here and to talk about um, this amazing offer and all the work that Walmart is doing to support nonprofits. Uh, hopefully many of you know who we are, but just in case, I always like to remind people, um, we are here at TechSoup. TechSoup is a nonprofit organization. Our mission is to build a dynamic bridge that leverages technology to enable connections and innovative solutions for a more equitable planet. Inherently, our goal is to make sure that all of you and the work that you do at the nonprofits that you work at um, are getting the resources and technology that you need to be even more successful in being able to create the impact that you have on the communities that you serve. If you go to the next um, slide, the, the way that we do this is through working across um, a great ecosystem of partners and foundations. We work with hundreds of corporations and technology companies to get the resources that you all need and be able to put that in one marketplace to make sure that you can get access to things at hopefully donations or at extreme discounts for you to be able to leverage and use at your nonprofits. Um, we know that technology and access to te technology is just the starting point. So we also want to support all nonprofits in being able to use those technologies more effectively as well. So we offer key services like help desk services, migration services, website services, courses, um, and community so that you guys can all en engage with each other. Uh, we have forums, we have courses, we have events like this where you can learn more about the things that are happening and things that can help you with your decision making and resources that are always available, like our articles, how-tos, blogs, and many of all of our um, webinars are recorded, so you can go back and see some of those as well. We're very, very excited to have all of you here today to learn more about our partnership with Walmart and Walmart Business. Um, we've been really excited. Walmart has, for, you know, decades been um, at the forefront of serving a lot of the population and particularly nonprofits and supporting their own missions. And we're really excited to work with Walmart to think about how we can best serve the members that we have at TechSoup and all of you and seeing um, more uh, impact and more opportunities for um, seeing you scale. And so with that, I would love to introduce Liz Willett, who's going to talk a little bit more about um, Walmart and some of the programs that are available for nonprofits. And then we'll talk a little bit more at the end about the offers that are particularly available for TechSoup members coming out of this and next steps for us to engage more. Um, Thanks, so Shruti. I Liz. really appreciate it. Um, first of all, I want to say um, we're really indebted for this relationship with TechSoup. We started about a year and a half ago, really connecting with TechSoup to say, how can we authentically and meaningfully drive value for nonprofits? And where do we have shared value and what you're offering and what we're offering to unlock the most value for those who are doing the most good in communities? And I just want to say thank you to Shruti and the entire TechSoup team for being along with us on that journey as we figured out the right thing. And we believe this is just the beginning of a longstanding relationship to continue to drive value. 
for the community. So thank you. Um, I, I'm Elizabeth Willett. Um, I, everybody calls me Liz. And I'm going to share with you um, here a bit about Walmart business and um, the efforts that we are doing. Sorry, my screen was sharing a moment ago, but it's not sharing. Just one second. Okay. We are going to start this over. You know, um, it's funny whenever you're on a tech conversation and, and you, you're the person who's fa failing the technology. So um, forgive me and thanks for your grace. <clears throat> okay, perfect. So we're going to spend a little time and we want this to be interactive. I have my colleagues on the on the um, phone here with us and I'm going to introduce them here. They're going to be taking us um, answering questions as we go along. So please feel free to jump in and um, ask your questions as we go. There's no, no such thing as a silly question. We'll try to answer them on the side as much as possible. Um, and then we'll take strategic pauses after each segment to really have more of a dialogue uh, between all of us. So um, let's start off with our team. So we sit in Walmart Business. Walmart Business is the newest entity of Walmart. We, if you probably know Walmart and Sam's Club. Walmart Business is this new one. Um, and I lead nonprofits for Walmart and on our sales team are uh, Tim, who it will probably be your primary contact. He focuses on the hunger, housing and faith-based community. We also have Christina who focuses on youth and health services. Isaiah, who um, works with all of our nonprofits and usually is our first line of defense as our business development rep. Uh, and then my right hand is Henry Van. So I'm gonna just ask them all to come on screen real quick. So you, you can see they're here in the background. Um, they'll, they're here to support, but as you have a community involved, uh, they will be here to support you. Okay, uh, thank you guys. So I want to tell you a little bit about the origin story of Walmart. I'm assuming all of you have maybe heard of us, but I like to tell the origin uh, story because I know not everybody bleeds blue like I do. Like Shruti mentioned, I've been at Walmart for seven years, uh, and I came here really kind of at the get against what my family would have thought was my better judgment. Candidly, eight years ago, I didn't shop at Walmart. And part of the reason why I didn't shop at Walmart is because I believed a whole bunch of things about Walmart that turned out not to be true and learned a lot about how Walmart on some of those things was really trying to rectify and make it better. So I hope to tell you a little bit about that origin story and give you some reasons to believe in Walmart as a great community partner. So first, um, I'm gonna start with the picture in the upper right-hand corner to talk about our origin story. That's Sam and Helen Walton. And as you can see, Sam Walton uh, is a military veteran. I happen to be one. So this is a story that resonates with me. He was an infantry officer and the first $5,000 that he saved from his time in service, he was able to use that to invest in the first five and dime store. And that format then became Walmart stores and then later the Walmart super centers that you know today. And his wife, Helen, was instrumental in that as well because she really from the beginning said that you can't build in communities without being part of the community and giving back. And she has a famous quote that we use throughout Walmart. It's called, it's not what you gather, but what you scatter that determines the life that you've led. And you'll see this in the philanthropies of not only them, but the entire Walton family and what they've done um, to, to drive that legacy. So much so, I'll tell you a little bit about our giving here in a second, but at a glance, Walmart has 4,700 locations uh, excluding Sam's Club and our international ones. We're a Fortune One retailer, and 90% of the population is within 10 miles of a Walmart. Globally, we employ 2.1 million people and 1.6 million in the U.S. alone. 83% uh, of our stores have same-day delivery available, and 1.6 million people use the Walmart app on a daily basis, which I think is a pretty phenomenal um, story of how we started from a small store here in Rogers, Arkansas, moving all the way up to um, being this large global employer that drives this impact. And our journey has been one that has been driven from a store to an omni-channel. But that's not just part of it. This is a small glance. I am, I think they'll throw uh, the link in the chat for our ESG report. Um, we have an annual ESG disclosure report that we talk and talk about our impact but I wanted to give you a few reasons to believe. Um, last year, we gave away 1.7 billion of cash and in-kind gifts between Walmart and the Walmart Foundation. And we had 92 million of customer donations through SparkGood, this new platform that I'll let you know about 
And this is an opportunity for you to be a part of that platform and receive those donations. Walmart also, if you um, aren't, weren't aware, had about four years, this is five years ago now, um, launched a new platform called Live Better You. It's our free um, college for all frontline associates where you can get four year degrees and everything from cybersecurity to logistics and um, other degree programs. We have uh, multiple credential degree programs and we have 190,000 associates who participated in it, uh, 32,000 graduates, and we've saved over $500 million in tuition for those as frontline associates. I think it's one of the most amazing programs that Walmart offers that very few people know about, but one that has an opportunity to drive um, equity within communities all around the world. Um, the other big signature thing is Walmart is also the largest grocer in America. And we've had a longstanding relationship with the Feeding America Network. Uh, and last year alone, we did uh, 655 million of donations um, within Feeding America and 760 globally. Um, so big numbers of food that we're um, contributing both here and abroad. And that even more important that 57% of the do those donations are fresh fruit, vegetables, meat, or milk. Um, we're, we're serving that critical gap for the communities where we're serving. So with that though, what we've realized is that we, we do a lot of good and we have some tools that are do a lot of good, but most people don't know about that. And we have a lot of work to do to take all of the greatest technological design and use user-centered design to really drive impact for nonprofits, putting them at the center of the equation saying, how do we serve them better? We're in their communities, they're serving the communities that we operate within. How do we become the best partners? And so we've been on this multi-year journey to say, how can we help them philanthropically and how can we help them stretch those donor dollars further? So we'll talk a bit about Spark Good, which is the philanthropic side of that, which is a place where you can engage, become a verified nonprofit and then get access to tools that will help you philanthropically through Walmart. And then on the opposite side, we've realized Walmart is a 62 year old company that has really built its bread and butter by serving an individual customer and a family, giving them everything they need for food, clothing and everything inside of their shelter. But we haven't done a good job of really thinking about the needs of organizations, things like how do you, um, handle tax exempt? How do you handle spend controls? How do you handle when uh, leaders change year over year to have that visibility? And so about two and a half years ago, we moved over to start what we call Walmart business. Uh, so we're going to start in talking a little bit about Spark Good. Um, and you'll I'm, have to forgive me as I will try to explain these the best I can, but Christina will do a lot of the chat on this. Um, I have a, a specific set of knowledge, but things are moving and evolving with this. And so if we don't have the answer today, we will get you all of the answers as we go through. But there are three key areas here, which I'm really excited to talk about. So Spark Good is a platform. If you go to www.walmart.com slash Spark Good and want to follow along, you can see there that there are examples where customers can now engage with nonprofits in their neighborhood in really meaningful ways. We started out with this hypothesis of how do we connect customers and associates to good deeds within their um, community. So the first step is you, you become a deed verified nonprofit. And then once you are, you get access to the Spark Good platform, which it, where is a platform where you can see all your tools for customer engagement, facility engagement, associate engagement, marketing tools to talk about your efforts, um, and many, many more, including Walmart business within that, that Spark Good platform. So you can go and sign up and get access to these. Let's first talk about customer engagement. There are two signature ways in which, once you're um, verified that you can connect with it. The first is your organization can enroll in to be Roundup eligible. That means you say, I, I wanna accept customer donations that happen through Walmart. And the way that works is I, as a customer, can go and follow a nonprofit. I'll use my local PTO as an example. So my local PTO has a, um, a, a their Spark Good Verified, I'm a parent. The PTO tells me, Liz, hey, go round up for us at Walmart. And every time Liz does that on Walmart, on walmart.com, whether I'm doing pickup or delivery or having it shipped to my home, as long as it's a .com purchase, all of those roundup donations from me and all of the other parents are collected by Walmart 
and sent to the PTO on a quarterly basis. I hope that sounds good to everybody. Um, and I think it's something that can drive a lot of value for organizations um, in and around. And that 92 million that I talked about previously is the sum of Roundup donations that have happened um, last year between Roundup and Registry. Registry works a lot like a wedding registry or a baby registry, but this is a registry for good in that your organization can create up to a hundred different registries for your organization. And it can be everything from a food drive to back to school campaign or to an individual case need. We have people who work with multiple caseworker or caseworkers who work with multiple people and they can develop individual registries for those different people. And customers like myself can go on and buy it. And then Walmart will send it directly to the address of record um, of that registry. It's a great way. And we also have charitable receipts integrated on the back end to help you with that um, experience. The second way is facility engagement. So facility engagement is we said, we've committed every single one of our 4,700 stores to allow for either space to be used um, in front of it for things like uh, donation drives or campaign awareness, or to have grant dollars. And each one has a different amount depending on their size, their location, et cetera. But each facility has the ability to have either of these take place. So you could request to um, have an event three times a year. And our community grants range from every, anywhere from $250 to $5,000. And you can apply up to 25 times for those grants. The next one is our associate engagement. So think about the power of our one, I think it's the 1.6 million associates right now. So of the 1.6 million associates, each associate has the ability to give to their favorite program. And we have a platform by which we can do that. And at certain points in time, we have matching campaigns. So uh, last fall, um, during the holidays, we had a three to one matching campaign. So I was able to give to my favorite cat rescue and Walmart would match that um, at that time of year. The other way is um, we have what we call volunteerism always pays. And so you as an organization um, can accept Walmart associates to volunteer within your organization. And for every hour that an associate claims that they've um, donated their time to your organization, Walmart will pay your organization $10 up to $1,000 a year per associate. So if you have a really active person within your network, within Walmart, this is a great way to connect um, within that. Okay, so I am going to pause, and at this time, um, I'm going to stop sharing. And, and Shruti, I'm sure you've seen some yes. questions that are coming through, and I would love to help um, field any of those. Great. And so, if Christina, you want to come on too, that'd be great because you may have some other insights as well. Absolutely. So one of the questions that we're definitely seeing, there's a lot of engagement um, in chat and a lot of engagement in question and answer. So for um, any attendees, if you have questions, please do put them in the question and answer. That way people can see the answers as you're um, getting your questions taken care of. But one of the things that I've seen pop up a lot um, were really about the grants itself, um, particularly from the stores. So um, what is the process that was a few questions on, is there places that they can go to understand that grant process itself, local grants from the stores, um, and what to expect in that process? When do they hear back? What are the chances of being awarded? Things like that. And, and is there a webinar or materials that people can look for more information on that? Yeah, so the best place to start your journey to learn more about what it takes to get verified, et cetera, is to go to www.walmart.com slash nonprofits with an S. Um, that is the best place to start your journey. And in there, it'll walk you through the steps, but I can take you through that as well. In fact, I will try and just pull it up on my screen because I think um, it's helpful to just share that and see as you, what to expect. So this, um, the, the first step here as you go to walmart.com slash nonprofits is that um, I can type and talk at the same time, uh, is that you have to become verified by our third-party partner called DEED. DEED will go through the steps to say, are you the right person for your organization? Is that organization, um, is, are you the rightful owner of it? Like we wouldn't want some volunteer to just come and claim your organization without you being the rightful owner. So they do the due diligence to make sure you're the right person. You'll need a copy of your 990 form, your IRS determination letter, and a few other things within that um, system to get verified. Um, and then you'll have to 
attach your bank account information to it as well in order to be able to accept um, donations or to accept payments um, within the system. So this looks a bit like um, the place where you would land. And so it says here you can access Spark Good, but it'll talk to you a little bit. So just this year, we've partnered with Deed before. We used to use an organization, Cyber Grants, if you might have been familiar with that. Um, so you get verified with them. And then once you do, you you gain access to your Spark Good nonprofit portal. And in there, it will have all the steps for Roundup, Registry, Space Tool, and Grants. Now, I will um, be really transparent that while we give away a lot in our, our stores for grants, um, there's 1.8 million nonprofits. And so as we have more nonprofits learning about this and trying to apply, the chances obviously are just a bit more difficult. We have a few steps to, which we would suggest for you to um, connect in with your stores. One is to go in and try and meet your manager. Tell them a bit about your mission. Tell them that you're already Spark Good verified and uh, let them know about what you're doing. Also ask to see if they have any volunteer events that are need for volunteers and bring opportunities to them to say, here's a place where your associates can engage with us, or here's a place where we might accept donations. But the more you can increase your presence on Spark Good, that's their first signal of like, you are a valid nonprofit. I'm sure you can imagine the number of people coming in asking for donations from a store. It's a little hard for a, a store manager to like reconcile those differences without knowing them. So the first step is being that Spark Good verified. Then um, you want to go in and introduce yourself, talk about the grant, talk about the purpose of what you're trying to do. Um, these are unrestricted grants, which is a really great use of them um, because of the, the size of them. So you don't have to do any reporting for these grants. Um, you're just able, you need to put them for your best and highest use. Um, and then uh, we, our ask is that you do a social media post to talk about um, whatever the grant did and whatever it did for your community. That's our only um, ask there. Great, thank you so much. We also have a few questions um, as well about um, the support for public libraries and the eligibility in general for um, also I think veteran organizations, probably C19s that are not 501c3. So do you have any understanding on that? Yeah, so um, for the Spark Good portal, it's only available for 501c3s and schools. It, it is not available for public libraries or for C19s, but Walmart Business, this other part that we're gonna talk about, that's eligible to all of you. Great, thank you so much. Um, and then I didn't know, Christina, if there's any other questions that you wanted to raise now before we get to the next part. I know there are Or Christina, if you had any in. other. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a wealth of experience from other nonprofits who ask you questions every day. Maybe you can comment on that. Yeah, I think, you know, the main thing is to start with that account so that you can unlock all the things that Liz has talked about today. Um, so because once you've set up that account, you unlock all of those opportunities. From my prior experience at dealing with corporations, this is very unique. Usually it's four or five different portals to unlock those types of things at a corporation. And so the nice thing about our organization is that one account unlocks everything. And one other thing, just to make sure, because I know we have uh, a large audience of people and TechSoup members, um, just to clarify if this is only for the U.S. or not. This is only for the U.S. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And then um, as the questions keep coming in, I know that the um, multiple team members that we were introduced to from the Walmart side are, are actively answering your questions in the Q&A. So as we continue on, feel free to add questions there. And obviously, it's a big uh, group that we have today. So we're probably not going to get to every question, but we will do our absolute best. And if we don't get to your question, we will try to compile FAQs and get back to you at the end of the event. So go ahead, Liz. Perfect. So we're halfway through because we've gotten through Walmart. We've gotten through uh, Spark Goods. So thank you for everybody hanging in. We know your time is really valuable. Um, I want to talk about, so the first half of the equation is like, how do we help you get more donor dollars and assets? And the other side is how do we help you stretch those harder donor dollars and really be judicious with them and think about it. Um, and so want to talk to you a little bit about the journey of Walmart business and the value that we can provide you there. So Thumbs up if you can see the screen. Okay, perfect. Um, so a little bit about this. Um, Walmart business is a net new part of Walmart. Uh, and I think it's important to note because people hear Walmart and that 
the intuition and habit is to go to walmart.com, but there, this is a separate place in a separate location. It's business.walmart.com. And really we have a bold vision is that we want to be that trusted partner to organizations, really thinking about how do we create a stronger economy and more resilient communities and nonprofits are a part of that, whether they're doing job skilling and up training and training or housing first models, or whether they're helping people get back on their feet after a disaster or a crisis, you are all part of that thing of making our economy stronger and our, our communities more resilient. And so we tied to Walmart's purpose, which is to save more and live better. We actually want to help businesses, nonprofits, and government save time, money, and hassle so that they can really focus on their missions. And that hassle part comes to life in a whole host of ways that we're changing our platform to really help you make better business decisions in your everyday purchasing. And we have kind of three tenets that we really focus our efforts on. It's one, we want to simplify, help you simplify and save money on business purchases. We know that you're time starved, you're doing all of the things that you want to do day to day. And so our goal is to help you get what you need and get it now. But also we know that when it comes to running an organization, that you also need to stay in in control and in stock. Many of you are running, managing volunteers or you know, a changing workforce at a time. You need to be able to have the spend controls and the spend limits and the visibility across. You need to be able to reconcile um, purchase card expenses against expense reports. You need to be able to track all of your tax exemption. And then we need to be able to help you operate better and grow. We need to use spend analytics to show you where you're spending the money and how you might be able to change that over time so that you can grow your organization and continue to do more in serving your mission. So again, this is the Walmart you love, but now for your organization. And we have a separate online experience, business.walmart.com. And I know that um, Aretha will put that into the chat for us. Um, so you go to business.walmart.com. And we have a separate app available both for Android and for Apple, as you would expect, that, work, that increases your ability to do what we call omni-channel purchasing. Um, we'll talk a little bit about what Omni means in a second, but for those of you who shop with Walmart today, and I hope most of you do, give me a heart if you shop at Walmart already, um, we would love to see you um, continue to be able to pick up, pick up in a van, be able to pick up, uh, have your associates pick up for you as you go through at a scheduled time that's meaningful. Sometimes that's in the morning before you're going out to the field. Sometimes it's on the way to visit a client. Sometimes it's like, at 11 o'clock at night after everything else has finished. So we, we love that pickup for you and we want you to be able to buy it in the volumes that you need at pickup. We also want you to be able to have super fast delivery. Um, and I don't think many people know this about Walmart. Like they will think about this with their competition, but in that 87% that I talked about that have um, delivery from store, most of that also has within one hour delivery. So you can get that thing that you need for an emergent need. If you have a refugee who's come in or somebody off the street and they need you know, some shoes right now, you can get that and delivered right to your location. Um, and we think that's a tremendous value that we offer. Kind of net new to the entire Walmart experience is this idea of multiple users and shared payments. So with this Walmart business account, you get five users and you're able to have different payment sources. You can have ACH, debit cards, credit cards um, related to it. And it, as a primary administrator, you can choose to share that across your users and put, put spend limits and spend controls. I'll give you one example. So I'm gonna use my team as an example. I'm Liz, I'm the administrator for my local nonprofit. And I've got Tim, Christina, Isaiah, and Henry on my account. So we're all part of this account. And Henry, he's my chief of staff, so I'm going to give him a higher spend limit. He's going to, and he, he can purchase up to $5,000. But for Isaiah and Christina, I'd say, you know, eh, I'll give him about $300. But Tim, he's kind of sketchy. So I'm only going to give him a $0 pay. I want to approve every single one of his payments. <laughs> Tim can then go in and choose to have, um, to fill up his basket. And when he does, he'll, he'll hit checkout. But instead of it going to checkout, for him, it will go to an administrator for approval, and I, as Liz, could approve Tim's payment, and then it can come through. So we think that's really valuable for all volunteer forces or places where you just may need a bit more spend control or flexibility within your system. The last thing is, um, or not, last, we've got two more things that are, are, are kind of differentiated. New to Walmart this year is an, a, a, a complete omni-channel tax-exempt shopping experience. 
if you've shopped at Walmart before and you've shopped in our stores and you've gone through our tax exempt process, I'm probably telling you something that has been a big pain point for you and that we have historically had this paper card and this paper card it has to be shared between you and others. Have any of you experienced that? Give me a thumbs up if you've experienced the paper tax exempt shopping card at Walmart. And you have to go in and you have to go check out with an associate and that associate ha may or may not have all the information. And as you're going through that process, then um, you have to like keep track of that one paper receipt like gold, because if you lose it, then that's everything to your organization. And it's just an experience that was designed around Walmart and not around organizations. Over the past two years, we've gone through a complete overhaul of the tax exempt shopping experience. And the way it works now in Walmart business is that when you go and apply for your application through Walmart business, and once you do, your tax exemption now automatically applies to you and all of your users in the organization. Plus, it applies to every uh, to every purchase you do online or in store. So you can use your Walmart Pay in stores, and you can go to self checkout, and you don't have to talk to an associate, and you can get tax exemption applied. And that tax exemption will take place both um, you'll get both a paper receipt and a printed uh, uh, paper receipt, and it will go into your record. And that applies for you and all of your users. So if I've approved him to go shop in the stores and he's gone through that experience, but he forgot his receipt, like he does, then I can come through and I said, oh, I actually have a copy of it and I can now reconcile it as the P card holder. And I'm, I'm saying all of this in jest because Tim is actually far more responsible and uh, enigmatic than you can imagine. And we do trust him highly. Um, the last one I want to talk about is our buy in bulk options. So we have two ways that you can buy in bulk through Walmart business. One is we have a limited selection of things that are available, like a pallet of paper, or we have um, some items that are available up to quantities of 250. And we have about a thousand of those that are regularly in stock and available for bulk purchasing. We're continuing to evolve and improve that over time. But once you become a Walmart Business Plus member, you get access to what we call special buys or special orders. And in our special orders process, Say you're planning to rehaul all of, if you're a, a shelter and you need to buy all new mattresses for your organization, you can go on and say, hey, I need to buy $10,000 worth of this mattress. And we have a team who is processing on the back end these orders and we'll figure out the most efficient ways to deliver that to your organization. So these are unique capabilities that you get unlocked by being a Walmart Business Plus customer in our ecosystem. Um, this is a little bit more about what I said, but this is kind of what our site looks like. If you go to business.walmart.com, we have two free two ways that you can engage in our site. One is a free membership and the other is a paid Walmart Business Plus membership. The paid Walmart Business Plus membership is what we have in our TechSoup Boost offer um, where you get six months free or 180 days, which is a pretty um, nice offer here. And Within that, you get 2% rewards off any purchase over $250, and that applies to all of your users. You get free pickup and shipping and delivery for, or sorry, shipping with no minimum and free delivery from stores for over $35. Um, and we, we're unlocking more rewards and benefits. Like we have relationships with other organizations who do things like business training or tip tap, which is doing um, donations. Uh, there's a number of organizational benefits that come within your Walmart Business Plus membership. Um, program. Here's some examples of customers who use us today. Um, we're really excited about the, the partnership with them. Just to give you a smattering, we've been in operation for about 18 months and we have um, a great number of them who are already buying and purchasing from us. And you can see it ranges everything from children's hospitals to refugee organizations to uh, folks who are, are serving our military families uh, or like our one in the upper right corner there, um, Sweet Dream Makers, who is an incredible organization that sends um, crib mattresses, bedding, bedding for the mom, for every new mom in need, um, and they're based out of Florida. So really wonderful organizations who work inside of um, our, our com company. Um, this is more about that simplified tax exempt shopping experience that we mentioned. I'll just briefly go over the steps. The first one is you're going to create a Walmart business account, you apply for that tax exemption, you add eligible users, you need to have a payment method in a stored wallet, and then you can shop anywhere, whether it's online or in-store. 
And essentially all you're doing is you're scanning a QR code at checkout that ties your payment and everything gets connected through a process we have called Walmart Pay. Um, the safe hassle portion, there are four ways that you do omni-channel shopping. One, you can shop in the store with your Walmart business app and you can do it all hours of the day or night. You can schedule pickup from the store. So, and you can do that up to a week in advance. Um, you can schedule same day delivery or shipping from stores for $35 um, or, or more, which is, uh, I, I don't know about you, I can hardly get a basket under $35. So it's really easy to meet that threshold. And then um, you can get shipping to your doorstep to either you or your clients. So you can choose, you can have up for each individual user, you can have up to 21 different locations. Um, this is kind of a, a small image of our spend analytics dashboard, which tells you a lot about the categories in which your team is purchasing, the top items, the users, and the time horizons. Um, and here's just kind of a brief overview of the, in a more visual way, the difference between Walmart Business and Walmart Business Plus. Okay. With that, I'm going to stop and we're going to take questions and then we'll turn it over to Shruti to talk a bit about the offer. Perfect. So one question that I've seen from a few and I didn't different him online, sorry, real oh, quick. Yes, of course. Um, that I've seen a little bit is just making sure that organizations understand: is this really for large organizations? Is this for any size organization? Because small profits need help the most, and um, we're seeing that question a lot. And I know that that um, is something near and dear to your heart. So I'd love to hear your answer on that. Yeah. Well, we really we started out our vision of how do we help local nonprofits first while serving the needs of the backbone agencies that some of them are inherently part of. Like you get to these big, large networks that are part of multiple communities, but we know that there are churches on every corner, that there are rescue missions in every place, that there are you know pet shelters in every community that aren't necessarily part of that big ecosystem. So we are for them. Uh, and we build it in a way that solves the needs of them individually while still being part of larger networks or not. Um, and so, I want to make sure that Tim's on here because I think the majority of the people who are on in the audience here today um, are going to be within Tim's portfolio and maybe within Christina's. But Tim is um, leading our account here with TechSoup and is um, he handles hunger, housing, and religious organizations or faith-based institutions. And so um, we'll bring him in because he answers these questions on a day-to-day -day basis as well. So um, Shruti, do you want to um, ask Tim any other questions? Yeah, uh, one of the other questions that we've heard of, and I don't know, Tim, if you wanted to answer anything about the small, but I just want to reiterate to everybody that, you know, there is not a size requirement for you to be able to participate and enjoy all the benefits that we talked about today. So this is really meant for all nonprofits and particularly the needs of those small nonprofits that typically at TechSoup we most serve as well. So um, one of the other questions that I saw a lot of was um, one just clarification question, because I think I saw this a little bit that Spark Good and Walmart Business are different. So just because you're a Spark Good recipient doesn't necessarily mean that you're a Walmart Business subscriber yet. So I just wanted to clarify that um, and that there are different uh, members, there are different programs and there are different signups, I assume as well. Yep, we will have those things, but those are two separate um two separate login processes and, and signups. Perfect. Um, one other question we saw was, are there any plans to expand can, the range? Can I just, of, um, yeah, please. I wanna, like, I, if I'm sitting in the audience, I'm like, well, why? You're talking about simplifying, why are there two? Let me help you guys understand why. One is we we think the intended audience for those who are um, doing Spark Good are people who are managing grants, who are oftentimes in bigger or medium-sized organizations, net different people than maybe a smaller organization who might have the same purchase person managing both purchasing and donations. And because of the way accounts are set up on, on SparkGood, we really wanna protect the fidelity of our customer dollars going to the right person in an organization, which is a different set of scrutiny that happens than say for just the right to purchase on our site. There's some verification that happens on Walmart business, but it's under a different lens than it is for protecting customer and associate dollars being donated. Um, the other question that I saw come up a little bit was, um, what are some of the plans to expand the range of products and services available to nonprofits through Walmart Business Plus? 
Yeah, I mean, I think we're always um, expanding. I mean, I think top of mind for all of us is is recently is definitely expanding that bulk assortment. I think we can certainly understand, especially in the the hunger and housing space, where we'd really like to have this um, fully automated and, and streamlined process for bulk um, that will be coming soon. Um, there are several assortments that are coming in. Um, present day, right, with uh, bulk assortments, case packs, things like that, that are not um, available on the walmart.com site. So that does exist today, but that that assortment and, and that uh, variety of assortment for bulk is specifically uh, um, soon to come. Um, we're all really excited about that. And then every day too, I think I'm working with a lot of um, uh, organizations um, kind of at the national level to develop some, you know, uh, registries that make a lot of sense for their particular organization, as well as kind of some, you know, partnership um, agreements where they can have a, um, a curated list of products that makes it easier to, for their organization to purchase the things that they need on a daily basis. So it can kind of come up as a you know, a, a shared um, list that is kind of a an adjacent item, but um, but we're expanding, you know, assortments all the time, I think is the big thing right now with us being as new as we are. I think that's kind of one of the exciting things is that we're taking feedback and kind of implementing a lot of that feedback. If there is something that you don't see on the on the site, we're, you know, all ears in terms of getting that feedback and hopefully adding it. Yeah, I'll, I'll put an example at another level. We had a customer who reached out to us and said, hey, I'm looking for this specific Christina, correct me wrong, this specific set of cups that are yeah. available, can you help us go get this? And we we had a marketplace buyer go out, um, find the item, get it, get it listed on the site so our customer could buy that set of cups. So yeah. we want to be that kind of partner to you. And That's I think, amazing. You know, yeah, I think it's an important note too. I think that is kind of what's like really exciting about Walmart business being such kind of this newer, more nimble kind of, you know, uh, younger sibling of the Walmart behemoth that there's a lot of exciting things like that of being able to, you know, hear feedback and translate that into, you know, actual you know, results on the website. I had that the other day with applesauce, a very particular applesauce, but um, I think that's great. That's really great. Um, the other question that we saw were, what are the most common challenges nonprofits face when using Walmart Business Plus, and how does the platform help them overcome that? I think one of the biggest things, I mean, is like a resource thing. I think the first part of that question was kind of how does the platform kind of help, you know, eliminate, okay, or help uh, the process. I think the biggest thing is really just driving value and, and saving time, money, and hassle, right? So they can kind of continue on their mission and not have to to worry about some of the more logistics behind either, either the purchasing or managing, you know, what used to be the physical cards for tax exemption or also providing this um, kind of... Um, unprecedented visibility across spend across an org, I think is a big piece of Walmart business. Um, historically, with the user limitation of walmart.com, there was oftentimes a lot of accounts, right, um, that were created under an organization. And so at the time of, you know, reconciling for spend, you know, at the end of the year or, or for a particular, you know, expense period, gathering those necessary um, details right on spend for that org was difficult. And one of the big things that we kind of set out to do on Walmart Business is to, to streamline that and to increase visibility across the org. So that tracks both the in-store spend across multiple users, right? Or the, you know, delivery, shipping, all of that. And be, so being able to have all of that handy and, and visible, I think has been a big time saver uh, for nonprofits. That's great. Um, I think we're actually getting a lot more questions on next steps. How do we get, how do we get this offer? What's the offer available? What's the pricing? So maybe it's a good time for us to get to the next set of question, um, content so that we can answer some of those questions live. Yeah, that sounds great. Sure. Do you want me to pull it up and you want to talk through it or do you want to? Sure. That would be great. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. So we're really excited, as Liz kind of mentioned today, to talk a little bit more about the Walmart Business Plus offer. We think it's going to be such a valuable resource as um, Liz walked through some of those benefits and Tim did too and highlight um, for nonprofits who are already you know, using Walmart for your nonprofit's needs. Um, and we're really, really excited to partner with Walmart to bring a special offer on that business subscription to um, TechSoup members. So until August 5th, um, TechSoup Boost members are going to be able to get a free 180-day trial membership to the Walmart Business Plus subscription. That's a $49 uh, value. Um, nonprofits can cancel the free membership within the 180-day period and not be charged if you find that the subscription doesn't work for you. But as we talked about, I'm sure that this is going to be something that's going to be super useful and valuable to your organizations. Um, and then as um, Liz mentioned before, the um, 
annual subscription is about $98 a year for one full year of membership. But with this special offer, you really get the first six months free. You get to trial that and you get to be able to use and kind of take advantage of all the benefits that you can see. Um, Walmart's also been incredibly generous and is offering TechSoup Boost members um, $75 promotion codes off of a purchase of $350 or more. And this is on top of all of the benefits that already come with your Business Plus membership. So this is really special for TechSoup Boost members. Um, and you can redeem that $75 promo code twice. So really, you're looking at a value of almost $200 for Boost members, which we're really, really excited to bring because it really just strengthens um, the opportunity for nonprofits to engage and get even more value as they're learning how to really take advantage of all the benefits from the Walmart Business Plus. Um, you might be asking yourself, am I a TechSoup Boost member or not? So I'll go to the next slide that just talks a little bit about what Boost is. Um, TechSoup Boost is a membership offer from TechSoup um, where nonprofit organizations get access to new products and offers just like this amazing one from Walmart Business. Um, you often have no admin fees or discounted admin fees on key product offerings. Um, there are savings on training, consultation services that we have. There are limited offers on hardwares that we have limited um, inventory on that we want to make sure our Boost members can get first. Um, and you get um, comparison tools to help you really determine the right solutions for your need. Um, we've put a couple of the offers here. Obviously, the Walmart business one that we've talked about today is, is a fantastic offer, and you're going to get so much um, out of that membership and even more so as a TechSoup Boost member. Um, but also included in that uh, with your Boost membership is um, access to discounts on Zoom licensing, Autodesk, AWS, Wix, Adobe, DocuSign, and many of the other um, amazing products and solutions and technology that you guys all started in the beginning of the webinar saying that you love. Um, and today for our webinar attendees, we're so, you know, grateful for all of the things that Walmart has offered to the nonprofits that we also want to make sure that we're making that easy for you. So we're um, offering a 50% off for the Boost membership as well. So for members of the um, panel today, as well as all of your participants, um, we'll be offering 50% off. So you can get the Boost subscription for the year for only $49. And that $49 will go towards all of the benefits of Boost, including Walmart business. Um, your next steps. Um, you can join Boost. You'll see these links um, hopefully in your chat populate, but this one's an easy one. It's techsoup.org backslash boost. Um, today and tomorrow and, and through this weekend only, you'll see it at $49 per year for your whole organization. Uh, once you're in uh, as a Boost member, you can add um, your request for the Walmart Business Plus subscription. Um, once you get that subscription and check out like you normally do with anything else at TechSoup, um, you're going to get an email with your Business Plus offer. And that includes a unique trial membership link. So that'll give you your chance to sign up for your free 180-day offer. And you'll get the purchase promotion code for saving $75 off of your $350 redeemable twice. Um, and all of this, this, is, this offer expires on August 5th. So we want to make sure that you're aware of it. Um, particularly the $49 per year for um, Boost is uh, an offer for participants today. So definitely feel like you can, um, you know, make that next step over the next couple of days so you can really take advantage of all of the benefits that are available to you. Um, once you get that, it actually setting up your Walmart Business Plus account is super easy. So if you go to the next slide, Liz, um, once you get that link, your link is going to take you directly to the Walmart Business Plus and TechSoup page. You can start and activate your free trial. Um, you're going to fill out some basic org information um, so that you can create your account. Um, you'll have your membership promo code appear in the link that's also going to be in your email. Um, and then you have to accept terms and conditions, add payment information, and then you can start benefiting from all of those wonderful um, areas that Liz had highlighted, including the free delivery, free shipping, earning 2% back, and um, the spend analytics that you're going to get. And I think some of the tax exempt parts are just so impressive and, uh, and super, super transformative to organizations who've had to get, go walk around with paper. So this is great. <laughs> And I think if you go to the next slide, um, what you'll see here is just uh, where you can enter that code as you're going go through your checkout process. 
Um, at the checkout, if they there's a little indication that says have a promo code, you can enter in your TechSoup promo code that will be available to members through your email, as well as when you'll see when you um, sign up for your account. And then you'll see the um, uh, promotion being applied to any order over $350. And again, you can redeem that up to twice. All right. And then I think um, many of you are aware, we saw some questions about this as well. Um, Walmart was even more generous today. Um, and for webinar attendees today, um, you are eligible for a $25 e-gift card. Um, if you create a free Walmart account or sign up for the free Walmart Business Plus trial um, by Sunday, June 9th. So if you do that by this weekend, um, what we are going to do right now in the chat is provide a link um, for you to submit some information so that if you um, are eligible for the first thousand who sign up, um, that we can go ahead and send that card to you. Um, we ask some information just to make sure that we can get that card to you as well. Um, and that link should be in the chat right now. And um, I will pass it on to Liz to just talk a little bit more about um, all of the things that we talked about today. Perfect. Well, um, thank you so much, Ruti, for the time. Thank you to all of your attendees. Like, this is a 50 minute like power session and learning about Walmart. I feel like we should have a degree certificate for you for sitting here and learning about it. Um, but yeah, I think when people put the link in, please fill that out. Um, thank you, Aretha. It's right there. It's the Google Doc form. Please be sure to put your information in there. We want to get you the $25 gift card. And it's really simple. You don't have to worry. If you're not a Boost member, don't worry. Just go create your free account right now um, on Walmart Business. You can just go to business.walmart.com, create that um, to get that claim at $25. But, and then once you do have your boost membership all the way through the fifth, you can get those benefits. Um, and we really want to see you get, get that. I want to hear about it, how, what's working for you. I do want to say, um, if you are a bigger organization versus a smaller and you say, Hey, this isn't really for me. I need more users, or I have something else that I need within this account. Would you please put your name in the webinar chat and say, um, just put Tim's name in there. Just write, write TYM. Um, Tim will reach out to you. Um, we have some unpublished ways that we can work with larger organizations to, to meet your needs and to think about the ways that we can help you um, get something that you need immediately. So if you, you put your name in there, we would really appreciate it. Um, Andrian says that the link isn't working. I think we're seeing... If the link isn't working, when you close out this Zoom window it'll automatically pop up. Everybody that leaves, it'll automatically pop up. But can someone else click on the link and see if it's not working yeah, for them? Yeah, it looks like some people are saying it's working for them. So I just tried it and it's working, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you. when it's not working, it's it's a Zoom thing. Maybe mm -hmm. you have to update your Zoom settings. Back to okay. you. Well, now I think this, I'm gonna be respectful of the last eight minutes of time. Um, we're, we'll stand by if you have any other questions, we're here to answer them. Um, please let us know. But otherwise, um, thank you for spending what may be some of your breakfast hour and some of your lunch <laughs> hour with us. Yes. Um, and if you have a second, there's a few other questions that I can ask you from the, yeah, from the group. Uh, great. Um, so one of the other questions that I've seen here were, um, are there accessible um, solutions online uh, for those with vision impairments? Is the website accessible? Yeah, we are ADA compliant. Um, we we go through rigorous ADA compliant um training and if and we take it actually really seriously if you go on there and it's not meeting your needs please let us know because we want to be able to improve that experience for you um over and over great and um there are a few questions on what if they already have a walmart business plus account can they still take advantage of some of these benefits yes yeah it's in fact um this is the only partnership that we set up this benefit for that if you are have an existing membership that you can uh, take it over there or if you have an existing walmart business account, you can get these uh, membership benefits for free. We've already included that. So instead of creating a new account, you'll just log in with your existing and the benefits will apply. Fantastic. And there's a couple of other questions that I see coming in. So uh, just to reiterate the process again, once you fill out the form so that we have a little bit more information about where we can send the card, the first thousand um, attendees will receive that once they sign up for a free business account or the business plus account. Um, and that yeah. by J June 9th, I'm skipping ahead a month. Um, and so um, you'll see that. And I think on the slide, it said, uh, how many days should they expect to receive that in? On the, I will mail it out on the 14th. 
14th. Okay. So thank you so much. Um, cause I see a, a couple of those questions as well. Um, and then there were some other questions about, um, let's see, uh, the community grants for public libraries in the past. And I know you talked a little bit about that. That's a little bit different than the nonprofit offers that you have, but are there any other places that we can, um, send organizations or libraries to engage with other parts of Walmart that might be able to support them? Yeah. Um, the, the best place is at the bottom of the page. There's a, a place to link out and ask the specifics of who's eligible. Right. Um, that program has changed quite a bit. Um, I used to run it, uh, but it's changed quite a bit over the last year. And unfortunately, I don't have that detail. I can get back to you, Shruti, as Perfect. well. And maybe we can send that out to all of the recipients just as a clarification. That sounds great. Thank you. And I know that we have a lot of libraries in the TechSoup uh, data and universe, so it makes sense that the question is there. Um, one other thing I just want to point out, I want to thank everybody from Walmart for their time today and for their generosity. It has been really, really great to partner with an organization that is so aligned philanthropically um, and really here to support, like we said, the small organizations who need a lot of the support that we have. Um, I also wanted to just note, um, it's been really grateful for your you know, generosity in the offer for TechSoup members and for the attendees today. It's a really fantastic for organizations to be able to get their um, hands uh, interacting with the offer and being able to see all of the benefits that they can have. So we wanna extend our thank you from TechSoup for that. And I hope you saw, and I hope all the Walmart <laughs> attendees saw how much love there is for Walmart and how many people have already been interacting with Walmart. So we're really excited. Um, there are a lot of questions I would say about the validation and deed. And so is there, um, a, if there's a support, um, alias or something that we can put in the chat, we'd love to do that yeah. so we can make sure people can. Christina, I'll can you go ahead? Ahead. Yeah, I'll go ahead and provide in the chat so everybody can see it on um, the email address for that team, as well as my email address in, um, either you can reach out either, um, start copy both of us. And that way I can make sure that team follows up with them. Perfect. And one more thing I'll just mention, um, I know the biggest question that we get is there was so much fantastic information shared today. Will I get a copy of this? Yes, you will. Um, the recording um, for this will be sent via email to all attendees and to all registrants. So you'll have that and you'll be able to access it. And we know that there was a lot of information we put in there. And so as you go through it, feel free to share that um, as well so that other people in your organization can get access to that information as well. All right. I think with that, we can close. Um, thank you, everybody, for your attendance today. It was so great to see a thousand of you here, and we really appreciate all of the support from our Walmart colleagues. So thank you all very much, and hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and evening, and hopefully a great start to your weekend.